Hello and welcome back to SciTi Tech. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a police LED mount with using an ATtiny85 microcontroller and a potentiometer to be able to create this circuit right here. And I'm going to show you how to make this in this video. Let's get started. <laughs> And these are the items that you're going to need to make for this project. The items you're going to need is 9 red LEDs, 9 blue LEDs, a push button lock switch, a 3 volt button cell battery, a 3 volt button cell battery holder, a potentiometer of any resistant value, an AT Tiny 85 microcontroller, an 8 pin IC socket holder, and a perf board. Now let's go ahead and assemble this circuit and let's get started. First, I'm going to assemble the circuit with these components first. I'm going to start with the 3 volt button cell battery holder, the push button lock switch, and the 8 pin IC socket holder. And it should look just like this. Pin 8 will connect to the push button lock switch, push button lock switch will connect to the positive of the button cell battery holder. And it should look just like this. Now, let's go ahead and solder it into place. Solder it into place just like this. There we go. And now I'm going to go and take the switch and bridge it to pin 8. There we go, solder bridge just like that. Now solder the rest of the pins into place. Next I'm going to take a bridge wire and put it between the button cell battery holder and the switch. And solder the positive to the switch. Solder it into place just like this. And now solder bridge it together and it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take a negative wire and place it next to pin 4 of the IC socket holder. Put it into place just like that. Bend the wire over to solder bridge it just like that. I'm going to take this wire and I'm going to place it to the negative of the button cell battery holder. Next, I'm going to take a bridge wire, and I'm going to place it next to the button cell battery holder and the wire that connects to pin 4. Solder bridge it together, and it'll be connected to ground. And it should look just like that. Next, it's time to place the LEDs. I'm going to start with the red ones first. I'm going to go ahead and place them all onto the perf board, and I'm going to align all of the cathodes and anodes together. All anodes and all cathodes will be connected. Push the LEDs and bend the leads. Bend them over on top of each other so that way they can bridge together, just like this. Solder just one pin of the LEDs. Push the LEDs flush with the board by remelting the solder. By doing that, we'll allow the LEDs to be flush with the board. And there we go, it should look just like this. Solder the second pin into place, and make sure all the leads are connected parallel. Solder them together, and it should look just like that. Repeat the same process with the blue LEDs. And there we go, it should look just like this. Cut off the excess because it's not needed, and it'll make the board a little bit cleaner. And it should look just like this. Next, I need to connect all of the cathodes of all 18 LEDs and connect all the cathodes to pin 4 so that way everything is connected to the common ground. And I'm going to use these wires to bridge them together. There we go, connect cathode to cathode. And it should look just like this. All of the cathodes are now connected. Next I'm going to take this wire here and connect it to pin 4, and then solder it to one of the cathodes. All of those LED cathodes are now connected to pin 4. Repeat the same process for the other LEDs. Connect that to the negative of the battery. Still the same thing. 
Next, I'm going to take a jumper cable, connect it to pin 4, which is the common ground, and I'm going to connect that to my 3 volt button cell battery, and connect it to the negative, and then take a positive jumper cable, and connect that to the positive of the battery, and touch all of the anodes to see if everything lights up. And as you can see, all of these LEDs are now connected successfully. Next, I'm going to go and take these wires here and connect all of the anodes together the same way as I did for the cathodes. Solder the wires into place, just like this. And there we go, all of the anodes are now connected. Next, I'm going to take these two wires and connect them to pin 5 and 6. Red LEDs go to pin 5, blue LEDs go to pin 6. Red to 5, blue to 6. And there, it should look just like this. Next, I want to make sure everything is soldered correctly and see if my LEDs light up on pin 5. Pin 4 is negative, pin 5 is positive. Connect to a 3 volt button cell battery, and there, it lights up. Pin 6, LEDs light up. And there we go, pin 5 and pin 6 are successfully connected. Next, I'm going to take my potentiometer and put it into place. Put it in just like that. And then solder it into place. Next, I'm going to take this negative wire and connect it to one of the pins of the potentiometer and connect that to pin 4, which is the common ground. Next, I'm going to take a positive wire and connect it to the opposite pin of the potentiometer and then connect that to pin 8 of the IC socket holder. There we go, VCC is now connected to the potentiometer. Next, I'm going to take a signal wire and connect it to the center pin of the potentiometer. And I'm going to connect that to pin 2 of the IC socket holder, which is analog 0. And there we go, it should look just like this. Next, I'm going to take my ET Tiny and put it into the IC socket holder. And now I'm going to take my 3 volt button cell battery and put it into the 3 volt button cell battery holder. Let's test it out. And there, it works! And it should look just like this. Turn my potentiometer, and you can see the LEDs blink slower. Turn it the opposite direction, and the LEDs blink faster. There, the circuit works successfully. And there you have it, the project is now complete. Now you know how to make a police LED mount with using an ATtiny85 microcontroller and a potentiometer to create this circuit. And there you have it. Thank you for watching SciTi Tech. I hope you learned something new. And don't forget to like and subscribe, and of course, click on the bell icon to be notified for future SciTi Tech videos. Till the next tech, goodbye.